Hi, this is Dr. Jeff Broderick, and uh, this is uh, Welcome to Health and Wisdom for Your Pet, and the wisdom part is 77 years old and 50 years of doing this, okay? And so by doing this and being the only veterinarian in the United States that makes pet food and practices veterinary medicine, I can tell you how nutrition works. Well, there's a lack of nutrition in pet food, and one of the lacks of nutrition, one of the major several lacks of nutrition is the fact that the dogs wind up with a with a problem called canine cardiomyopathy. Now FDA blamed it last week, last week only, uh, on the fact that the you know, the latest scam in veterinary in in uh, uh, pet food is that uh, it's, it's grain free. So grain free is a uh, is this big deal, and grain free. Uh, is is the is the, is the big thing the big word now is grain free, so so be, because uh, they make it grain free they they have to use a carbohydrate because the extruder the machine that makes pet food uh, dry pet food the extruder uh, requires carbohydrates so they fill it full of instead of grains they fill it full of potatoes and peas and lentils and chickpeas and all this carb because it has to make have a carb to expand and what happens is the FDA is saying now that because of the potatoes and the lentils and the peas and all this other stuff that's put in pet food to a carnivore not a peavore is causing the heart to dilate and that's that's one reason, and it's, it's, it's a substantial reason, and it may pan off that that is true. But the FDA is doing a fabulous job in now cracking down on the SCSI pet food industry, so which I've been doing for 50 years. Here's a normal heart, and you can see it looks like a heart, like a, you know, Valentine's heart, it looks like a heart. But this heart doesn't look like a heart, that heart looks like a pumpkin. Therefore, canine dilated cardiomyopathy is because the heart loses its ability to contr to contract and therefore it kind of falls apart and it can't work anymore because it's dilated and then the dog dies a not nice death so there there they are these are the dd views of it and that's a ventral dorsal view of the like looking at my chest this way and now we're going to look at my chest sideways so i'm going to take these two down and i'm going to put these two up now look at that pumpkin and there is the normal heart and this is a big heart by the way this heart over here is slightly enlarged but when you look at it it's big normal this is big that doesn't look like a heart what's it look like a pumpkin right so this is why they call it pumpkin heart the dog ceases to the dog's heart ceases to function and the dog dies simply because of nutrition the lack of nutrition that you can do when you make a organic food like cornucopia is it it contains things in there that that stimulates the heart to not have this problem and it doesn't have lentils and it doesn't have potatoes it has sweet potatoes but sweet potatoes is a yam and 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 potatoes are a nightshade so it doesn't have those things and doesn't have peas and it doesn't have these other things that the FDA is suggesting that this may be very well be made the, the cause of it. So the reason I have these is because I got this in two weeks ago and the dog was on cornucopia and because of a marital situation, the wife got the dog, this is a real switch, the wife got the dog and failed to keep feeding cornucopia. So over, after a nine month period, this dog came in last October dying and went home and jumped on the car and was doing fine and everything 
after, after just after a week on this. It takes more than a week to do this. Anyway, it, it, nine months later, the dog has not been on cornucopia. The dog came in dying again uh, two weeks ago, and we got him straightened out. And I took the x-rays, and there's the, this giant pumpkin heart that doesn't even look like a heart which, where that one does. It has the shape of a heart. So this is canine dilated cardiomyopathy. It's a, it's a nutritional disease of the of the heart of dogs, and it's, it's more common than we know, and it's all due to nutrition. So you don't have to go in and spend thousands and thousands and countless thousands of dollars, you know, getting this thing treated. All you have to do is learn to prevent and give the dog what you would eat, and that's why I make cornucopia, because cornucopia is not pet food, it's human food, certified organic, GMO free, antibiotic free, free range, gluten free, and there's your gluten in there again, right? Potatoes with the gluten. And, and there you have it, canine cardiomyopathy, that's it. All right, listen, God bless. And, if, and just go to cornucopiapetfoods.com um, and you will be able to see a whole lecture that I wrote out about this about canine cardiodilated myopathy, and you will understand it more, and if you don't, just call me. Dr. Jeff Broderick, God bless.